they are rated to 20,000 meters. If you go over 20,000 meters, then it'll still work, but you're going to grind the teeth down of your gear shaft here that we're pretending to replace right now. Those metal shavings are going to get inside of the, the big gear and start grinding away the teeth. So you want to be able to replace this because it's fairly cheap to do so relative to what it is. And you can see the handle wants to come in. I'm going to hold this up, pull that out, and then we're going to pull off the top cap cover. We're going to pull the gear out and these extra parts for now. And then this handle, this spring is going to want it, want it, that's where it wants to sit. But we are going to rotate this all the way back around before we put this back in. So what you have here on this part is you can typically wiggle this. It's all greasy. You want there to be grease on there. There is a key notch right there for this little component. And if we take a non-greasy one, this is, would be in the repair kit that you would be getting, this washer goes on first. And then you put the key lock right in there like that. And that is what is this part right here. So I'm going to pre-assemble this so I can make sure that this is lined up and push that together. So then you have washer ball bearing washers and that also comes in the repair kit, though that's not likely to get worn out. This is not a square. You can see right here, this is slightly different, and this is going to go against the handle. But before we do that, we're going to want to rotate this in the direction that you want to release it. Otherwise, if you put everything on here, this is going to be super floppy, and it'll work just enough for you to not realize that's what's wrong with it. Spin it all the way around, but yet a little bit more than you think because that's the way it needs to be. When it sits there, the handle's going to sit like this. So I'm just going to hold this up like that. And then I'm going to take my washer sandwich and take this not a square. And that not a square part is right up there. That's why that sits there. I'm going to take our pre-assembled gear. We're going to make sure it fits just nice and snug. That cap goes on. And then we're going to just assemble the screws back into this thing. And I'm going to do one before I let go of this handle. And that's all it takes to get another 20,000 meters out of this thing. And when you're done, you're not trying to show off on how strong you are. Just torque it super torqued enough, just gently with the little Allen wrench. It doesn't need more than that, or you could risk stripping that. And so all of these wear parts can be replaced by you at a moment's notice if you have a repair kit.